Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching one of the most exciting series on ESP32 development board. We are also going to look at ESP32 CAM and ESP8266 very soon. All right, guys. In the beginning of the series, we started with uh, MicroPython, right? And I did show you how to install Thani IDE and the firmware and then the ESP tool and then go to Windows uh, command prompt and open the terminal, type uh, a few commands and then uh, burn your firmware that is the ESP32 firmware, uh, the MicroPython firmware for ESP32 which we downloaded and then we tried to burn that into ESP32, whole lot of process, right? And it got really complicated. So there is a very simple way to read. The only catch is when you move your ESP32 to Arduino, it automatically detects. The IDE detects and you start writing your C++ code. We did several exercises in the past, uh, in the previous uh, lessons based on C++, right? So it, it automatically detects and gets it done. When you move ESP32 back into Thani uh, or you want to write a micro Python uh, program, you again need to follow the entire process of lesson number one or two, right? By, by, uh, by downloading the firmware and up, uh, updating the firmware and stuff like that. It's a tedious task. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a very easy way to switch over between C++ and MicroPython in a fraction of minutes. So it, it happens within fraction of minutes and you can start switching your code between your Arduino code, your C++ code, or you want to use your existing MicroPython code and do modification and try to make projects and make it work on Python, on MicroPython. So guys, let's, let's take a look at it. So first what we need to do, <coughs> we need to install a tool called UPyCraft, right? It, it's an IDE. It, it's not very popular. It, it's a kind of uh, IDE plus it's a helper tool. It's okay. It's got a very basic GUI and stuff, but the way it works with ESP32 is just fantastic. It runs very fast and the tool manages everything. So let's do one thing. Let's go to my GitHub account. I hope you guys can see my screen. So if you go to my GitHub, go to this section called ESP32, ESP32 cam. And at the bottom of this, you will find a exe file called upycraft version 1.1 exe. So go ahead and download it. Once you download it, download it on your desktop. Once you download, it's a kind of exe file. You got to double click and follow the instruction next, next, next. That's it. It takes hardly about two minutes exactly. Once you finish installing this exe on your desktop, you will get this kind of icon called UPyCraft. But before going ahead and doing that, you also need to go ahead and install the firmware, right? So go to this particular site, micropython.org slash download slash hash ESP32. Scroll it down completely, go to the bottom, click on generic ESP32 module. Once you click here, you have to go to this section called firmware with ESP IDF 4.x. So go to this one. In when we were using Thony, we took this particular firmware that is the unstable version. We were just trying it out and it worked well and fantastic. I just did a lot of uh, trial and error with this particular bin file and it worked really fantastic guys. So you have to just click on this. Okay, it will open up a box like this. You can select download on the desktop or wherever you want to download just remember the path where you downloaded i just put it on the desktop i'm going to cancel it now once you download it and once you have the upycraft installed can you see it here on the left hand corner of my system you can see this logo kind of a blue color uh, python snake uh, symbol right next to jarvis so you need to double click this and it's going to ask, please install source code pro font. Unfortunately, this keeps popping up every time you start your UPyCraft tool. Click OK. And it's going to throw up this weird kind of window. I really don't understand what exactly is that. But, you know, I just installed it. Okay. And then the font is already installed. You want to replace it? Yes. 
and then you can just leave it and close it as soon as you close you can see this happy little window open up automatically so i'm going to reduce the size little bit this is your main screen of upi craft version 1.1 this is a kind of ide you can make it as a large screen you can just reduce the size i'll just reduce the size for now so that it's easy to see for you guys what i'm doing here you can see on the right hand side the first button right is called new so it's going to open up a new sketch or a new file where you type your micro python code and then the second one is to save basically oh sorry open a existing file any of your micro python code you saved it on your uh, system you can just open the file this is to save your code and this is to run download and run your code and this is the stop interrupt button and stuff like that you can just navigate around so first thing you need to do i hope you are connected with your esp32 board just hook it up on your usb and then go to tools go to serial select your com port mine is com 12 yours might be different mine is 12 and then select your board as go to board here esp32 there you go you can see the terminal at the bottom right now before doing this we need to burn our firmware right we need to load our micro python firmware into esp32 remember we did a lot of exercise using arduino program using c++ so the previous uh, 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 micro python firmware which we did in lesson number one or two that get erased automatically so you got to redo it again to use micro python so how do we do that let me show you a trick a short trick so go to tools go to download no sorry the burn burn firmware can you see it here go to tools burn firmware click on here all right and then you get this particular window in this window select this drop down as esp32 and then the burn underscore address is it's written 0x0 but you need to select 0x1000 okay and then erase underscore flash you should say yes never do it no you should say flash you need to clean your uh, flash memory inside your esp32 and my com port is 12 yours might be something different and then the firmware choose go to users in users here you need to click choose go to choose this is going to take you from here you need to navigate to where you put your firmware where you installed it i mean where where you downloaded it right so i have downloaded it on my desktop i am going to double click here and then now what we need to do we need to hold the boot button okay hold the boot button tight before you click ok you need to hold the boot button hold the boot button press it and click ok now it's going to say erase the flash and burn we can see the percentage running on the top erase flash and as soon as you see the burn at the bottom it's still at zero if you see this bar moving we can take out our finger let's wait for a second erasing flash now burn okay now it started burning into the esp32 chip now i'm going to take out my finger i took it out and it's still working perfect it's going to take few seconds can you see how it how easy it is compared to what we did with the esp tool and you know open up a thani id then windows terminal execute few commands and load it and hold it and all those things this is much more easier and i found this tool this particular ide a micro ide i would call it as specially designed for micro python so it's going to be really useful we will we will do some exercise uh, you know I'll, I'll make build some projects and show it to you using this particular ide all right 59 percent 62, 64. Let's give it a second. 83. Almost done. It's almost there.
all right done now now that our firmware has been you know uploaded into esp32 chip now how do we confirm whether micro python is going to work or not well let's take a look go to tools go to serial connect to the serial port again mine is com12 yours might be different connect to the board as soon as you connect to the board now can you see the terminal at the bottom here with three arrow mark this is a standard terminal symbol let's execute a code say print print hello my friend coding scientist and with a double quote let's hit enter there you go hello my friend coding scientist so this is working perfect your micro python is working perfectly inside your esp32 so guys this takes hardly few seconds to do it right whenever you switch over from arduino ide from c++ to micro python using esp32 it's very easy to again load the firmware and get it done let's let's go through some examples now there are some interesting aspects of this particular micro ide i am going to show you if you go to left hand corner there's something called devices right click on the devices there's a boot.py <clears throat> so the boot.py is the first program which runs as soon as you execute so do not do anything with that go to files go to examples there are built in examples can you see that there are ton loads of examples like audio player.py recorder.py basics <clears throat> excuse me there are ton loads of basic there are camera related which is pretty good which we definitely require when we get into the vision aspect of esp32 use using esp32 cam and display there are bunch there is also ssd 1306 demo all right there are i2c ip spi interface iot stuff let's go to basic and try to execute a program a blink so this is going to blink your on board led now it is in red because it's connected to the power right so once you execute this program the blue led should glow let's try running this okay now how do you run it go to the right hand corner right hand side you can see all these buttons big buttons click here download and run let's download it says download okay and i can see the beautiful little blue led blinking can you see it guys i hope you guys can see it right so it, it's pretty it's pretty neat it's pretty sleek neat and it, it's amazing it i i, I like this id guys. compared to thani i definitely like this u pi craft and i'm going to build multiple projects and show it to you now to stop this program you can just directly click here stop there you go it stopped right the program stopped perfect all right so you you guys can play around with this example and uh, you know once once you guys are uh, ready with this ide i will be back soon and i will show you what exactly we need to be doing next bye bye